after this thing got out of hand, it was absolutely necessary for the Eskimo and Germany to lock horns in a war to see which one was going to survive. That was the speech he gave in 1961. Benjamin Friedman. And he was a... Eskimo. And he converted to Christianity. Of course, you might say, well, many of them will convert, but it won't be in earnest. They'll do it out of the same way they can adopt any political party, ride any political horse, and adopt any seemingly lofty principle. If it helps get them part of the way there to achieve their political aims, then they will. But at the same time, I think if we're honest, and if we educate ourselves and remain morally upstanding and if we don't fall into intellectual laziness then we will be able to recognize a sincere heart from an insincere heart or at least have the courage to enact laws that say by default we do not trust and we suspect that there might always be someone among us who is a fifth columnist or a subversive, corrosive element, and we will recognise them by their fruit. In other words, the way that they behave and the things that they do.